Hey, it's Nicholas back again today in the house. Today we have for you another one. It's called Color Wheel. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not joking. Color Wheel, okay. Based on Zubuntu 1204, so it's got a bit of XFCE going down. There's some other bits and bobs going in around as well. From the States, I think, don't quote me on it because I can't find anywhere, but the support section heads you to the United States of America. Now, it's XFC, Zubuntu base, I've just said, and we're going to have a little look around and then have a think about it, really. Because there's some bits and bobs that need sorting out. The first thing I'm really sorting out is this the age old XFC problem. You double click on your home folder and it takes about 30 seconds to open up. So we'll let that do its stuff and we'll have a look around what we're doing. So down here we've got me, Sneaky, because I've installed it, so no big deal, big problem, super duper. Time and date, there we are, look, it's calendar, so it's today, it's this afternoon, I've not got to school today, so it's fun by me. Lovely, super. My internet, sound, email notification. And on the other end we have our menu, which is a bit, oh, see, see what I mean? There it goes. So, boys, that's the first thing you've got to sort out is correct that bit of Thunar, okay? That's the big, big thing you got to sort. I mean, I've updated it as well, by the way. It's been updated. There was a really big update for it. I couldn't believe it. Mama, yeah, I know. Anyway, where was it? Oh, yeah, got the menu over here, which is a nice big colour wheel. So, you know, that's similar sort of XP. Mmm, yeah, okay. Terminal, okay. Then we've got our web browser, automatic doofer. See, it's done it again. This is the thing that's got to be sorted with Thunar when you do do it, boys, by the way. You've got a web browser, Gimpage down here as well. We'll open Gimpage up while we're here just to show you that it all works. He's in hunky dories. And there's a bit of peppermint tea while I'm waiting. Hang on a second. Mmm. Yin and yang. Nice. So Gimpy works okay. Moves me fast, it's okay. Don't mind doing stuff like that. Super. And you've also got using G Music Browser for your music, which is fine. I don't mind it. It's not my favourite, but it does what it says on the tin. It works, which is what we want it to do, really, isn't it? So anyway. Part of me through now moan and the trash thing. I'm not even going to moan about because you all know I moan about that. But as he's from the United States, I want to let you have that one. Okay, just this once, no more. Just this once. Open up our menu. Okay, so it's basic XFCE 4.10, isn't it? Really. So you get your web browser and mail with the shortcuts here. You get your settings, settings manager, all the usual you would expect. Okay, all the usual. Yeah, it's nice. Under accessories. Usual again, nothing new there. It's just basic XFCE, really, isn't it? nothing new. Games, basic again. What's that? It's actually added a couple, I think. There's not that many in basic XFCE now. What was Ubuntu, should I say? And the graphics, document viewer, Gimp, as I said, G Thumb, LibreOffice Draw, because it's got the full LibreOffice suite, okay? It's not just got Abbey Word and G Numeric. Restrato and Stimple Scan. Oh, that's Stimples. <laughs> Right, and the internet, we've got Firefox as our main browser, but he's also installed Google Chrome, which is easy enough to do. Pigeon, usual. Thunderbird, yeah, usual. Or transmission, yeah, usual. You only have one thing that is different, is Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. This is a soft phone. Nice little addition. I've never used it before myself. I'm not going to just yet, because I don't know anybody else has got it. Okay? But obviously, you'd be able to set up to get other soft phones going down with it, all right? Multimedia. Apart from G Music Browser, we've got Miro. Now, I used to have some of my videos on Miro many, 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 many moons ago. I don't actually use it anymore, to be honest with you. No, no I just don't, know. But yes, it's good for looking at, if you like, uh, certain sorts of videos and their series and they come in in a player and everything. Download it and give it a go yourself, actually, because it's nice and easy. Parole for your videos here. Pulse Audio, as of course, and XF Burn is also here. Under Office, as I said, it's the full LibreOffice suite, no Abbey Word or G Numeric, but you do get a bit of Orage, okay? But under System, GDebbie is here also, and the Lubuntu Software Centre. So they've done away with the Lubuntu software and we've gone straight to the Lubuntu software. Uh, yes, okay, it's a little bit lighter, I suppose, but bearing in mind the download's 1.4 gigabytes. Yeah, man, it's twisted my melon a little bit. It's quite large, so you know. Something's got to, some, something's got to come out. I know you've got LibreOffice in there and that adds at least 300, but you know, but you might have been better off leaving every word in Gene American and let people decide themselves. But again, don't shoot me, I'm only the messenger, okay? Where else? Oh, yeah, system, that's where I was, yeah. You just have to put Neopuck in here. You know, it's, it's a KD app, man. Chris mm -hmm. Miller. The printing stuff, Remaster Assist is here, so you want to remaster it. You might as well get rid of that, really, if you really, really don't want people to remaster it. Just get rid of it, you know, you've done it already. Startup Disk Creator is here. I'll open up the Task Manager, oh, by the way, and Synaptic is here. So I'll open up the Task Manager, we'll have a quick look. As you can see, it's using 6, 5%, 6, 6, yeah? We'll, we'll call it 5% of my CPU, 15% of my memory. I've given it a whole gigage, so that's only using 150 megs. That's quite good, no swap. Nice, 
Nicey, nicey. I like it. Okay. Well, no, I said, no, I said, I like it, like it, but we'll come to a bit more of that in a minute, all right? Okay, anyway. Time and day. New net booting is here as well. Update manager for updating. There is no automatic updating, apparently. I decided to do it manually, so I update it all. Loads and loads to do. And then you've got users and groups. By the way, this is installed. It's not live CD. It's installed. Okay. And there's also wine here as standard and wine tricks. Okay, so for doing your wine stuff. Right, so I'm going to open up my web browser. So if we go to web browser and see what opens. Oh, a bit more peppermint tea while I'm waiting. Hang on a second. Hmm. Now I've set their main page as my standard one, okay? Where this size it wants to open, that is. That's better. Now here we have Colour This is their web page and their website, etc, etc. Now, I'm all well and good of having new distros coming along and stuff like that. And he's has support here. Look, this is the thing I really looked at. Now you're a new distro. I've never heard of you before. Never ever. And you're offering support. Okay, fair enough. Three ninety five, so that's pound uh, sixty to me. Got a pad for a monthly, is it really? Nearly, you're only charging $40, so that's about 32 quid, or squid, as we say here. If you want to support your distro, no big deal, that's okay, fair enough. But, on the other hand, I don't know enough about you to actually pay that sort of money, really. I would have thought it would have been better off if you got yourself a bit more well-known before we go down that wheel. Or go, okay, wheel, see, I said wheel, but oh, wheel, wheel. I'll go over to their blog section, okay. Want some more tea while I'm here. Tea, Mrs. Shifter. Hmm. There you go. There's some of his blogs he's put down here. Answering the critics. I'm just critics, critics, critics. What's that's what I work on today? Blah 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 blah. Two over four. He has not vanilla. Yeah, we know that. And it says basically he was a Zorin user. Blah 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 blah. You can read it yourself. Okay. Why he says I don't know. He says blah 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 and all of that. Okay. Right. Yes. I'm a bit stuck for what to say here, for a simple reason, right, okay? It's too much like some of the other distros that are out there, okay? It really needs something to stand out, and there's nothing I can see apart from that little twinkle, twinkle little star, that's doing it for me, really. I'll tell you what I haven't checked yet, because I've been too busy doing other stuff. I'll go to my web browser again. I didn't actually see if Flash was pre-installed. Hmm. So if we go to Google, and we'll just quickly over to the tube, right? I'll have a look and have a little lookage. Let me put me in, okay? Just in case. There we go. And we'll see if Flash is present. It does seem to be, but I thought if you were in the United States, you couldn't actually pre install that. I wasn't sure about that one. And we'll just click on that video quickly to make sure it plays with us and plays ball. Yeah, it's going to play. So Flash is pre installed. All right? So that is a good thing. Make sure you're allowed to do it, though, boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not sure if all the codecs are in there for music either. They should have the basic MP3 and OGS anyway, but yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, right, okay. Let's check it, XFCE version. XFCE 4.10, as I said before. You really need something to stand out. Although it's very nice to use, and everything, don't get me wrong, it's easy and nice and smooth and super duper There's nothing making it stand out to make you different from some of the others that are using the same bass. Also, because you've used the Ubuntu bass, you're only going to get three years support. It would have been a lot easier for you to use Ubuntu Core and then add your XFCE stuff, take all unit out, and go from there. For a simple reason, then you'd get the five years support. Apart from that, you can still have Ubuntu One, you can still have the music store, you can have everything you want because it's Ubuntu based, stroke Debian. Yeah. I wanted to say better things about it because there's nothing actually wrong with it whatsoever, but it just needed something a bit more to stand out about it. But yeah, that's colour wheel. If you don't mind it and give the like, look and feel of it, Go and give it a go. I mean, I'll change the desktop for you while we're here, actually. Go to desktop settings. Before we go, we'll just change the background to. Ooh, what should we go to? We'll just change the wire there. So that looks nice and interesting. Look. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Christmas. Oh, no, I don't want Christmas. I'll change that again. Ooh, no. We just got rid of bleeding Christmas. God, that won't do. Okay. Who's that one? That's nice, isn't it? If this can get something to make you stand out a bit more, you're going to get more people to use you. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. There's a lot of distros doing the same thing, but you would have got the extra support. For the five years, if you use the base of Bantu Core, okay. But on the whole, it's really nice and easy to use and stuff like that. Yeah. What can more can I say? I'm going to rate you. Yeah. I'm going to have to mark you down a bit because you, you look like some of the others. But hey, keep working and people keep using you. Nice. I'm going to give you 85%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.